a very good day to all my students today we are going to discuss another topic in consumer behavior which is the four c's of the marketing mix all of us are familiar with the four p's of the marketing mix when we look at it from a consumer perspective these four p's stands for another four c's and we will see in the next few slides how each one of them are related to an indian consumer the four c's are consumer needs and wants which stands for the product itself the product should actually ooze out what the consumer wants or needs it has to talk for itself that what you want or need is me and it is there and the price is the cost to the consumer whatever price tag that you put the consumer should feel that yes i am ready to pay the price for it the place is how convenient you are making it for the consumer to pick up your product or service and finally the promotion should be the effective communication that the customer is looking out for so that he is able to understand your product or service and buy it across so the consumer of today has got these trends as we talk a few years down the line this might change so the marketers need to dynamically understand what are the needs and wants of the consumer as of now and be able to give it the to, you, today's youth is materialistic and is not guilty about it guilty about spending on things across spending on changing their wardrobes across for very frequently and they are uh, ready to express their need for consumerism very freely uh, i need it now is the new anthem it is like i want something and i need it immediately i am not ready to wait for a long period of time there is a very famous idiom which tells that you book for a bajaj scooter and wait for it for 7 years before it is delivered after making the upfront payment in the gone days but now you actually drive home the scooter and pay for it over a period of 7 years across that is how we have changed to a situation of instant gratification whatever we think about we want it immediately and there are marketers there are business houses who are ready to facilitate it you walk inside a mobile showroom today and pick up a particular mobile phone that you like and looking at the price tag you are face shrinks immediately there are offers that are rolled out from the sales person telling that you have got ema options you can go for this you can go for that so the customer today also wants instant gratification and the marketers are ready to facilitate that gratification and the empowered women is the next generation of uh, uh, women with unique needs um uh, for which the marketers are ready to cater across on the right hand side of the screen you can see a unique picture this is the kind of tourism that today's uh, youth and other people would like to uh, have it is not the historic places it is not the most visited places that they would like to see it is the unexplored heritage sites that many of them would like to see as of now so you need to identify the needs and accordingly cater to them through your products and offerings the next c is the cost it is the time acquired in uh, time spent in acquiring the product the cost of concise and the cost of gift so if the time involved in getting a particular product uh, is going to be long then the product is likely not likely to be considered across you have to facilitate immediate gratification as you saw in the previous slide so long waiting periods is a definitely no in today's uh, world across uh, the cost of conscious is are we doing something to the environment um with uh, the sustainable goals in place by in place by the united nations many of today's youth are very particular that they do not actually um, harm the environment they don't harm the animals across and if your product or service offering has got something to do about it then you are a no player in the market and third the cost of guilt are you 
making someone spend more time in order to acquire that product, use that services across, that they have to sacrifice their family time for that, then it is once again questionable whether your product or service will be accepted by the market or not. With the pandemic having struck, many of them are quite comfortable with a blend of work from home and work from your workplace itself. The reason behind it is that they are able to cater equal amount of time to their work and their family also. So products which are going to have a blended offering in terms of experience in the real and the real world are the ones which are going to be successful in the near future because it takes care of the cost of guilt of many of the customers. Communication, the uh, equivalent of promotion. Today's communication, whether it is advertising, public relation, personal selling, publicity or sales promotion have reached a place where it is uniquely offered to individuals. So there has been this advertisement uh, given by the lace chips where your smile will be printed on the uh, uh, cover of the lace chips and sold across. Customization done, The uh, even the taste of the lace chips was actually designed or curated by the customers itself. We have reached a stage where big companies even having big offerings are ready to customize and provide interactive communication in order to talk to each individual um, separately across. So you have got interactive advertisements on the internet where uh, the uh, offering is uh, particularly designed for you. If you log inside uh, Vodafone or Airtel or Geo, my plan, what is that my plan? It is nothing but offerings which are individually designed for your um, kind of profile across. Similarly, the public relations have also reached a stage where it has become a part and parcel of any normal person's life. So before a movie is released, you have you can see the film stars interacting with almost all kind of public in order in different uh, shows in different platforms to promote their product or service so all of this advertising public relation personal selling publicity and sales promotion have taken a different dimension now and what is that dimension it is being shown that it has been designed specifically to for you the individual customer it is no longer mass communication across the third one but the most revolutionized one is the convenience which is equivalent to the place wherein uber airbnb amazon prime uber eats all of them have brought the products and services to the comfort of your home to your specification specifically made for you all these integrators have been highly successful because they have understood one important think that the customer wanted convenience, convenience of delivery at the comfort of the place that they want across. When you make it simpler, easier for the consumer to consume your product or services, you are a winner in the market. The business model surrounding the success of all of this is they have identified the unique needs and delivered it at the convenience of the customers. That is their winning proposition. So you need to see to it that the convenience factor of the customers is taken care of. Moving ahead, let us look at, uh, after understanding the four C's, how companies look at marketing. There are different orientation that the companies have towards marketing itself. So the first orientation is those companies which look at marketing as an exchange concept. These people believe that marketing involves the exchange of any quality available in the market. I have put the picture of a roadside food stall as well as vegetables which are uh, sold on the roadside. The lowest level of quality that you can expect. What is these people's strategy to sell? They feel that if you give large quantity across, quality doesn't matter. And that is their outlook towards marketing. You just need to give volumes and it will take care of the other things. At a low cost, give volumes, 
the other things doesn't matter that is the exchange concept it is just about give some money and take something across don't talk about quality don't talk about other things across the production concept i have put up this pictures where you can see rows of sachets put across what does this uh, company orientation believe in customers will buy those products that are widely available and are of lower price they treat marketing as an extension of production function the more you are able to produce the more you are able to lower the fixed cost the winner you are going to be the market is what the people who believe in production concept Uh, think across that is why they go for mass production they go for mass selling and they try to make small amount of profit from each of the product that is being sold across the product concept the companies which believe in the product concept think that consumers will prefer those products that offer best quality and performance um uh, under this you come up with this idea of marketing myopia what does marketing myopia mean some companies like you can see in the example prestige cooker coming in the shape of an apple and a beautiful other shape across they believe that uh, people buy the product or service by looking at how beautiful it is which is what you mean by marketing myopia short sightedness you believe that people don't look out for quality or performance and they look out for the external beauty of the product but actually what companies should understand is the quality and performance matters so if you are a company which is oriented towards the product concept you have to concentrate more on the quality and performance of the product in order to make it sell in the market rather than having a marketing myopia and thinking that the external look of the product is what that matters the selling concept the companies who are oriented towards in this direction believe that consumers prefer those products which are aggressively promoted with the help of publicity advertising and sales promotion in india during cricket matches and other big events two competing brands pepsi and coca cola have got lot of advertisements that are intercepted in almost all the platforms across why because these are fast moving consumer uh, durable items which believe that people do not take a lot of time to judge and buy this the more you are visible in front of their eyes the more likely they are to buy your product so they uh, adopt aggressive advertising strategy the marketing concept believes that the success of the organization largely depends on the customer satisfaction so that is the artel advertisement which tells that the number of times they have been able to reduce the network issues and other issues because they are trying to express that we believe in giving value to the customer by making their experience seamless the societal concept tells that society's welfare plus customer satisfaction plus company's profit is what their motto is you try to create a win win situation for yourself and the customer and the society and that's what we are trying to do that the companies which have got a societal orientation projected across the relationship marketing these are the advertisements where in a pregnant woman walks inside a bank after it is closing time and the entire staff uh, try to make it a working day or the working time for that particular women projecting on the importance of maintaining individual relationship with your customers for a lifetime lifetime commitment from their part it involves creating maintaining and enhancing profitable and long term relationship with all stakeholders such as customers distributors dealers employees and financiers all those people who are working for your company and your customers are for part of this system and the relationship is well bound the holistic concept actually brings together the internal marketing the integrated marketing the performance marketing and relationship marketing where in the employees believe that the company is theirs they are proud of it which is internal marketing which leads to a better kind of outbound marketing 
uh, which is reflected in the performance of the employees and the company leading to a holistic marketing. With this, we come to the end of this session. Thank you students for listening.